We are working with Big for all of four years in you know, training, education, sustainability of business uh, uh, companies, uh, and uh, uh, also looking around about the broad environment, how all of this happens. Uh, so, Zbik is an economist, and I'm uh, based in, in, in management, although I graduated also from, from economy. So, <clears throat> I've been uh, teaching the strategy course for years. But uh, I learned uh, uh, not uh, so long time ago that uh, really what matters uh, is execution. And execution used to be the weakest part of all the activities aimed at very important goals attainment. So uh, I focus on operations management nowadays and uh, project management as forms of organizing any type of activities, two basic forms. And of course, uh, social, uh, uh, social factors are absolutely the key drivers in all those uh, processes. So we have to train people how to attain goals, adopting the right forms of management and the right forms of organization. Management is a very new science, as has been pointed out. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really a baby, a newborn, <laughs> as compared to the economics. And it starts it's really from uh, very fundamental issues of organizing production line and it's a, a simple process improvements. And then it came after several years to human resources management. Uh, Quite accidentally, they discovered the, the role of, uh, in, uh, the, in, in the experiment of uh, Hawthorne, uh, of uh, Elton Mayo, uh, that uh, human uh, resources uh, uh, power is in networking, in socializing, exchanging information. Uh, so from this uh, very narrow approach, uh, um, now we uh, convert it uh, into the interdisciplinary approach to organized achieving goals in changing scale, so any scale now is uh, being in our reach uh, and context that differ, that complex, they are also changing, they are very dynamic, and with adequate corporate governance. So we should look for the right forms of uh, governing all those uh, complexities and dynamics. And uh, I just want to focus on the basic interface, uh, because there may be numerous of them uh, between the management science and, uh, um, and economics, uh, uh, namely strategy. And strategy, uh, in first, uh, the simplest the, the definition I like is of Henry Minzberg, uh, this organizational self-definition, who we are and whom we want to be. So as you see, there is nothing about business. This is about explaining or expressing our will, and uh, our uh, persistent uh, nurturing uh, reality, how to get there to the point that is satisfying our ambitions, uh, our goals. Um, and uh, using this uh, paraphrase of uh, Leonardo da Vinci uh, by Ross and Carmen, without a strategy, the organization is like a ship without a rudder. All the people who sail know what such a situation means when there is a strong uh, wind, especially, and you cannot get uh, to the safe port. And uh, after uh, really very uh, deep uh, uh, research into the foundations of the strategy success, uh, I found that there are at least four components uh, that uh, create a baseline for, uh, for the departure uh, or a departure point for, for, for this uh, uh, itinerary. The first one is the strategy concept itself. So it should be always based on values. Otherwise, you will not raise uh, motivations. Uh, it should be based only on simple and agreed objectives. So you could not have too many objectives or too complex objectives because implementation will be uh, arrayed. Uh, of course, you need sufficient and adequate uh, to do the goal resources. You have to understand the environment of activity, and always it could be different in, a, in every case. And you also have to understand, especially recently, the dynamic adjustments. So the role of flexibility, uh, especially in operations management, in strategy, and mobility, like, like in the fast forces, uh, uh, fast reaction forces in, in the army, they are absolutely crucial nowadays. The next one uh, is uh, about execution, it's operational excellence. So there is a lot of definitions, I don't want to bother you with, uh, with those details. The next one is risk management, because uh, contemporary business is full of uncertainties, and the larger is the stake you, you put into the game, the risk uh, is also growing. 
so it's also larger. Um, since uh, the windows of opportunity uh, open for some time, but very fast, uh, they're very short, they are, they are closing. So sometimes you need a, an extraordinary mobility and your uh, power is not sufficient. So you are looking for, for partnerships. So that's why uh, cooperativeness is so, so important, but uh, the major logic is, of course, competition. So. We may ignore it or not, but acting for social good like a B Corp, so we may be a different standard, but always a business of business is business. So this is a major reasoning, and everything other should be somehow incorporated to this major one. Uh, now I put this, uh, this uh, <laughs> a little bit complicated picture just to show the, the whole uh, as, as I understand that. Um, Business is uh, on, the, on the level of strategies of organizations. Here it starts. But what we have above? We have above the macro environment. So for us, economy is one of the components of so-called uh, macro environment, and we are using here the PESTA model, means political economy, social technology, and the ecological factors that have an impact on uh, how the companies behave, what models they adopt. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, companies should uh, uh, monitor the global environment dynamics and institutions that fuel change. So they are permanent, uh, new, permanently created new concepts, uh, new pressures, uh, uh, new uh, proposals. Uh, uh, but our companies are uh, really uh, prepared uh, for interpreting them. Okay. So they think about those changes uh, in terms of challenges. Are they opportunities or threats? Uh, they, base, uh, they, they are frequently uh, influenced by different advocacy groups that define trends, uh, creating initiatives, pressures, and then we form the strategy and uh, set up uh, strategic goals and portfolios. So it's, it's uh, different forms of uh, acting. And first of all, business has to define what is a business case basing on all those analysis. So what I should change, what, uh, what profits I can have, uh, or revenues, what will be the cost, and is it profitable or is it not? It, it, is it a social uh, interest or environmental issue? Could I convert it into business or not? And then you look for project processes or programs that uh, can, can, can convert or embrace uh, to those two. And uh, then you have management team and team leaders and employees who, are, who have to act. I want to just point out one uh, component, transient advantages. So there is no uh, domination of any, um, any individual company. Everything is transient nowadays. So innovativeness, creativity, hunting for talented enablers. And we have to, uh, uh, to point out that the new generations uh, are much more demanding and 60% wants to change the world for better. So there is an, an open space for new uh, proposals. Mm -hmm. uh, but responses are not so uh, easy because the traditional uh, ways of acting based on inertia are not, uh, <laughs> not good enough. Uh, this is a, there is a situation of dramatic shifts um, uh, in competitive positioning of giants even, uh, so they are also endangered in the victory of black swans. Okay? Uh, there is a lot of technology progress, uh, so we also have to become more agile, uh, more flexible, more resilient. Uh, but project management becomes a vehicle of change uh, because it's uh, capable to addressing uh, evolving needs and contingencies in every area. So strategic mobility, we need visioning, we need operational excellence, uh, we need a unique architecture of uh, resources that, that creates potential where we have to work out the adaptability and to set up fast reaction forces. So what is inside the organization? We have traditional uh, management functions. Uh, we have strategic intents uh, that the leaders create or enhance, uh, but you have to acquire resources and to put them into, our, in, allocate them into operations, and then you can evaluate outcomes and impacts, whether they are satisfying or not. If not, you have to get back and create new, uh, new proposals and new, new activities. So the major question is how we should uh, leave growth, based on inertia, based on imitation of the best practices, or on innovation? And all companies have to answer this question on their own. Uh, so that's all. Thank you. <laughs>